Hi, and welcome to Learn DaVinci Resolve. This is your host, Kerry, and today, little special things going on. First off, uh, check out my website for the latest few, or DaVinci Resolve title packs. I've got title pack one online, and in the next couple days, I'll have title pack two and a lower thirds pack all ready to go at some introductory prices of only $9.99. So check that out at kerrygarrison.com. Link in the description below. K-E-R-R-Y-G-A-R-R-I-S-O-N.com. <clears throat> and today we have a guest instructor, Barry Holdsworth, and he's going to talk about doing fading of text within the Fusion page. Fading in and out, dissolving, things like that. And he's got a couple different techniques that he uses to do fade tech, or text fading <laughs> within Fusion. So I'm going to turn it over to Barry and uh, be sure and welcome him in the comments. And if you like what he did, maybe he'll do some more videos for us. So take it away, Barry. I recently had someone come and ask me how to make text appear in Fusion. Um, and uh, it I didn't take me long to explain it to them, but um, I had two ways that, that I typically do that. And uh, since he was saying that he was having trouble finding a video that explained it, I thought I would take the time to just put one together here. So I will show you with this example here, uh, I'll show you how uh, two ways that I do it, um, depending on the effect that you're looking for. So the first one is what I'm going to call write on. So if you're in the Fusion tab down the bottom here, um, you select the text. Uh, I've actually got two pieces of text, one here and one here. So I'll start with the one on the left. And there's if you go into the tools section in the inspector and you select text up here, the T, and scroll down, you'll see this thing called write on. So what I typically do is one of the ways I do this is this. I will mark this to say uh, that we have a keyframe. <clears throat> and if you watch what happens when I when I move the write on left or right, depending on which way I want to go, um, you, you can see that the, the text appears or disappears. So in this case, I'm going to have it go left to right. So I'm going to start with nothing, and then I'm just going to play forward a few seconds. I'm going to stop it, and then I'm going to open this up, and you'll see the keyframe automatically recognizes. If I go back to the beginning, you'll see no text, and when I play, you'll see the text appear. It's a little slow, but that's my system speed. So that's one way, very simple. Um, that's using right on, and what's nice about that is that you can have it go left to right, right to left, um, you could even, if you really wanted, have it start, you know, somewhere in the middle where it starts and, you know, you play forward a few seconds there and then you stop and then you open this out and it will appear to expand from the middle. So let's just have a look at that. So we have nothing, we play forward and out it comes. So that's one way, it's kind of a cool way to do it. Um, the other way, I'm going to go back, I'm going to clear all these out. Okay, and start with this. Um, the other way, <laughs> having some trouble here. Let's clear all my keyframes out. Right, the other way that I do this is to make it appear um, from nothing. So fade in and fade out. So to do that, um, same thing click on the, the text. Actually, I'm going to click on a different text. I'm going to move this one, number nine instead. <clears throat> and in this case, you pick on this one here, shading. So if you go on shading, and you'll see there's this option here that says opacity. So I can think you can see where this is going. I'm going to keyframe this. I'm going to move the opacity down to nothing. Move forward a few frames and then have the opacity come up to full. So if we go back, you'll see now it starts with nothing. And instead of appearing left to right, in this case, it it just appears from nothing and gradually um, appears. 
So that's it. Very straightforward. Um, two different ways. I'm sure there are a hundred other ways because this is DaVinci Resolve. There's always more than one way to do things. Um, but I hope you found that useful. And um, let me know if there's any questions.